Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch WQB 246C9GB heat pump condenser dryer. What I want to do today is show you around the dryer some of the features and benefits that it offers. I'll just show you the dimensions on the dryer. So first of all, the width of it, you're looking at 60 centimeters or 23 and a half inches. Height is normally pretty standard, uh, around 33 and a half inches or around 80, about 84 and a half centimeters on this model. But the main things that can vary, I suppose, on any appliance is the depth front to back. So on this one, if you go into the very back of the machine to the front lip here, then it's 60 centimeters or again, 23 and a half inches. Or if you want to go over to the door, so if you want to cover the door as well, then it is quite, quite a deep machine. Uh, you're looking around 26 and a half inches or around 67 centimeters. This model has a nine kilogram capacity, which means it's plenty of space inside to get all your clothes dry. Uh, you will notice that you have got a really nice big porthole as far as the size on that. So 39 centimeters or just over 15 inches. It's something I'll try and point out because what you don't want to do is to have a, a large, large capacity machine like this and then find you struggling to get the clothes in and out. So this model has quite a unique feature in the fact that you can actually reverse the door. Not many tumble dryers or even washing machines have you got the ability to reverse the door. But I'm really pleased that Bosch have allowed us to do this. Um, it is a fairly simple process. It is in the instructions to show you how to do it. Uh, but as, again, as I point out on some of my videos when talking about appliances, I'm really pleased to see that Bosch have kept with metal hinges and door catches. Uh, I would expect it on this kind of level of tumble dryer, but they're really, really sturdy these. The filter is just a standard filter. So you just need to empty that probably after every one or every two loads, really depending how much fluff or lint is contained within the filter. On most heat pump and condenser tumble dryers, you will find that at the bottom here, you'd normally have a flap that opens to enable you to clean the condenser unit. On this model, you don't need to worry about that. It's less maintenance because it has something called a self-cleaning condenser. Now, when I say self-cleaning, what it will do, towards the end of the drying program, it will actually use some of the water that's contained within the drawer. I'll show you that in a moment, but it'll use that to send it through, through the condenser unit, and then pump it back up to the top. And it takes any rubbish or any lint that's contained within there, and it just sends it up to the top. Now that is absolutely fantastic, because it means that at the end of every load, it's cleaning the condenser unit. And also, it's one less thing for you to worry about to clean. You will also notice that when you press the button in the middle of the display, it's all touch control, I'll show you this in a moment, really nice, that you've got a light inside the drum. Now, some of you might think, well, why do you need a light inside the drum? Uh, but that can really help. Because it's a large capacity, then you'll find that when you're putting the clothes in and out, what you don't want to do is to have one last item sat in there and then go and put everything away. So it, again, well done Bosch for putting a light inside the drum. I'll just run through some of the programs and what they do. Uh, so first of all, you'll see that you've got a really good range of programs to assist you in choosing the right program to get your clothes dry. You will also see that you've got three different options here. So first of all, you've got iron dry, cupboard dry, and then cupboard dry plus. Now this is really determined by, I suppose, how dry you want the clothes. If you wanted to dry things like shirts or blouses, well, you don't want them completely dry. You just want them to be slightly damp at the end of the program to help you avoid the creasing of the clothes. Then I'd recommend selecting the iron dry option. And you will find that that shortens the program on here. Uh, now, when I talk about the time on here, first of all, at, at three and four hours, it looks like quite a long time for the program. Uh, but initially that's the time that they will estimate for this program. What it would do during the drying process, it will actually detect how dry or how damp the clothes are, and it will adjust either increase or decrease the time to make sure that they are dry to your specific requirements. The next one is called cupboard dry, and that basically means that you can take the clothes out and go and put them straight in a cupboard. Uh, but if you wanted them extra dry, then you've got this option, Cupboard Dry Plus, and you will find that it does make a huge difference to the time. So these three options are not available on all the programs. As you come around to some of the other programs, so I've just pressed that, I should have gone around the circle there. Uh, this is the more economical program. So on this one, you've only got the option for Cupboard Dry. What it will also do, yeah, I don't know if you saw it there, if I select one of the other programs, 
I mean, something like the Easy Care is a lot quicker. But as you can see here, three and a half kilograms. What it will do is it will actually give you a maximum load that you can put into the tumble dryer once you select it. So mix load, two hours and one minute, three kilograms as a maximum that you can put in there. Now I think that's a really good idea because what too many manufacturers are doing is just putting it in the instructions, the load for each program. And unfortunately what will happen is on some programs, people will overload it. And all you will find is if you were to put say a full load into, for example, the Easy Care program. So it's not going to stop you putting, say, the nine kilogram load into that, but all that happens is it will just take a lot longer than the hour and 22 minutes to dry. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly run around the programs just to show you what they do. So you, the cotton program is for drying dry hardware in heat resistant fabrics made of cotton or linen. Cotton's Eco, so that again, dry hardware in heat resistant fabrics made of cotton or linen, but that's more of an energy saving program. Uh, so with this one, it does take longer, but it's a lot more energy efficient. Easy care. So with this one, these are for dry, drying items of synthetic materials or blended fabrics. Mix load, again, as it says, so if you've got a mixture of things like cottons and synthetics, that's really the one to use. Towels, as it says, if you were going to tumble dry your towels, then that's really the program to use. And you've got a couple of options on here, cupboard dry or cupboard dry plus. Then you've got the bed linen program. So again, if you've got things like duvet covers or pillowcases and sheets made of cotton, that's really the one to use. Uh, the main reason there's a dedicated program for that is that it's actually, uh, the drum movement is optimized for drying large items of laundry. So if you have got things like bed linen, that's definitely the program to use. Then you've got this, which is the app. So you can actually download an app uh, onto your phone or a tablet. Uh, it's something I would recommend uh, if you were to, if you've got this and if you've got a smartphone, which most people have now, download the app onto your phone. And what it does, it actually enables you to uh, get extra programs uh, as well, which can be really, really good. Next option is time program. And what you can do is you can actually increase or decrease a manual time for the program. Now, I know some people are thinking, well, why do I want to select a manual time? Now, personally, I've used this quite a lot, actually, the manually time program, because sometimes if I've had something, say, in the cupboard for a while, or if I've had, for example, a shirt that's been hanging up, and I just want to give it a quick tumble for probably about 10 minutes, then that can be really good. But if I was to put it on one of these programs, then it won't actually tumble because everything is completely dry. So it's really nice that Bosch have kept this. Uh, and as you can say, you can just change the time on here depending on how long you want it, and then just press the start button on the right hand side. Next option, Hygiene Plus. With this one, so this is for dry hardware in heat resistant fabrics made of cotton or linen. Uh, and this is really particularly suitable for strict hygiene requirements. So if you have got somebody in the household that suffers with allergies, then that's really the one to use. Quiet Dry, with this one, then again, this is dry hard, hard wearing heat resistant fabrics made of cotton or linen, uh, and this is suitable for quiet drying. So if you are going to use it during the night, then it will actually operate slightly quieter than standard. So if, if the dryer is going to be within uh, an area, say an open plan kitchen, or if you've got your living area nearby, then that could be a really good one to use. Sportswear with this, so if you, uh, again, self-drying sportswear fabrics that are made of performance fibers, microfibers or synthetics. Uh, this could be the program for you. Delicates, really as it says, if you've got delicate items made of satin, synthetics or blended fabrics, then that's the program to use. Then you've got, oh, skip that one. So you've got the shirt program, uh, suitable for shirts and blouses made of cotton, linen, synthetics or blended fabrics. Uh, really the recommended is if you're going to, if you're going to use this program, then just put a maximum of either five shirts or five blouses in at the same time. Try not to load it too much. Then the last option on there, you've got something called iron assist, and that can really help to reduce the creasing and airborne odors within some fabrics. Now you've got different options along the bottom. First of all, this reduced ironing. 
Now that's something that can be really good to help reduce the, the creasing in the clothes, especially, especially if you're going to add it onto the iron assist. Let's just move it round to the round to there. So I've just enabled all of these options as well. So reduced ironing, that's something that as it gets towards the end of the program, then that can really help to reduce the, again, the creasing in the clothes. You've got a low heat option. So on some items, you don't necessarily need it at a high heat, just enable the low heat. Half load, so if, the, if everything you're putting in there is only a smaller load, then just tell the dryer. And as you saw there, so on the on cotton program, you can actually tumble dry up to nine kilograms normally. And then half load, that just reduces it down to four and a half. Finishing, if you've got cheap electricity during the night, so if you've got things like economy seven, then that will just allow you to delay the start of the program. And well, it delayed the end of the pro end of the program. So and you can just increase that by up to 24 hours. I'm not gonna go all the way up because it takes a, takes a moment to do that. Then the final option on here is, as a program option is called Speed Perfect. And what that will do is that can help you to speed up the program. So if I just show you that, so select the program. So four hours, 41 minutes as standard. If I select that, then reduce it down to two hours, 55. Uh, you will find that the actual load is reduced as well. And here you have got something called remote start. So if you've downloaded the Home Connect app, then you can actually start the tumble dryer from your phone. Now, I suppose for some people that could be something that's useful. Uh, I think for a lot of people, just enabling this or enabling the, the finish in or the time delay option could be as good. While I'm talking about the Home Connect app, you have got something here called Smart Dry. Now this is a really good feature if you've got a washing machine with Home Connect as well. And basically the way it works is after you've finished washing the laundry in the washing machine, the dryer recommends a suitable program for drying the laundry. And that's why at the moment, when I press that, it makes an odd sound. And after a couple of seconds, it just goes back because I've not got a compatible washing machine connected up to it at the moment. So that could be really good. If you've done a full load of different fabrics, then what it will do is it will actually, in theory, talk to each other and it will recommend a certain program to put the tumble dryer on. You've got the favorite option at the top. So if there's a certain program that you tend to use a lot, then just press the favorite button and you can store whichever one it is. You've got different settings. So you can just go into the different settings here if you wanted to change items within that. So there's quite a lot you can do from, I'd recommend having a look in the instructions before you start to uh, mess about with any of those settings. Then you've got this, this is the child lock. And what happens is that you'll find if you enable the child lock, then any of the buttons you can't press, especially because it's a really nice display. I must admit, if I was probably a couple of years old, this would look really tempting to come and play with. But if you press that again, so just hold that for three seconds, then that enables you to start using it as a tumble dryer again. When it comes to emptying the dryer, it couldn't be easier. You've got a couple of options. First of all, you can actually just leave the water to collect within the container. And then when the container is full, it will tell you on the display and then just go over to a sink or out water outlet and just empty it. That's probably the, one of the most popular options. The other option, you'll see within the instructions, you do get a separate drain hose. And what that enables you to do is to basically disconnect the hose at the back of the machine and just connect on the new hose. And if you've got say a washing machine outlet or just a general waste outlet, then you can connect it in there and all of the water that is collected from the clothes during the drying process will exit the machine from a separate waste outlet. And that saves you having to empty the drawer all the time. If you're thinking of buying one of these models, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch WQB246C9GB heat pump condenser dryer. A <laughs> bit of a mouthful that. Uh, it takes me a while to remember some of the model numbers sometimes. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video on this tumble dryer. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe, leave me in the comments below. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. If you, if you come here to watch something or look for a feature and I've not covered it, then I've got this on display at the moment. 
I can have a look and then get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you've got one of the Serie 8 high-end Bosch condenser dryers like this, then let me know what you think about it, because I always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.